Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is going to be the last mission of uh, the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan. Where today it's going to be do or die. We're finishing the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. And boy oh boy it was a ride. I am pretty proud how all of it has uh, turned out. Not only that uh, this is probably going to be a world's first but also, since uh, my whole plan has worked out so beautifully well, <clears throat> almost all of the things that I wanted to do uh, just worked out phenomenally. The tech team of Roby and, um, and Hogbite have uh, proven to be really, really, really strong. And yeah, overall, this whole um map had uh, been easier than expected so far just a lot of good cooldowns that we could use i really really like it okay time i think for the first icarus jump my armor scare them? No. It didn't. Oh shit, we still have uh, another round uh, cooldowns left over. Uh, probably shouldn't have end another round before 8 protocol. Probably should have waited a little bit. Let's get one of these clowns with the mind control. <coughs> Time for us to dual strike. Yeah, we couldn't really do anything else. Uh, that's a that's a shame. Bit of a wasted uh, opportunity for us. Dual strike worked out okay. Yeah, we can't finish uh, the avatar. He's too far away. But we can already prime this guy here. Nice little crit, by the way. Impressive. One of the things that we can do is um, whatever the avatar is going to do, it takes an attack from Bladestorm. Faceless ones are relatively easy to come by. Only 12 hit points. It's trying to mind control us. It's definitely not going to work out. Instead took 10 damage. That's good. And we are looking at a couple more faces once. That's good. <clears throat> Yeah, no thank you. We don't need to fight the faceless ones. If possible, I'd like to stick with the chosen there.
So just out of curiosity, like if we were to blazing pinion, for instance, over here, okay? Yeah, that wouldn't do any good. This here is a 50-50 to maybe get this guy down. Uh, good enough. Good enough to kill him. Obi's giving himself an A protocol for threat assessment. These guys won't die with just one shot, but this guy here will. Let's try to motivate the avatar to move. Didn't work out. I mean, we could move up to here <clears throat> and give it a shot. Matter of fact, How about we hit everyone here? Not the worst start, because uh, the faceless ones will be hit as well. We need to get the avatar down this round. That's really the plan. We could kill him, but I would really want to use Ghost. So I'm a bit hesitant to just kill him. If we were to hit him with a pistol, we could still use Ghost. So I think we're going to do that. Good. It's a bit of an uncommon kill, but I wanted to use Ghost uh, this turn to make sure we have uh, the maximum amount of potential uh, soldiers on the battlefield. Ghost is ready. And I would say we're putting it right up here in case something is uh, teleporting in and kind of moving next to us. Okay, perfect. So far, so good. Uh, these little clowns here, if they are approaching us, uh, Bladestorm will take care of, uh, of them, which, on, uh, remains, uh, which means that only these guy here, uh, guys here remain. I would want to keep the special shots for a different occasion, to be honest. I am simply wondering... how to deal the maximum damage to those uh, three faceless ones. Because we can't one-shot kill them, it's a bit the problem. It almost looks like Capacitator Discharge is not a bad uh, choice. Because they will regenerate a little bit hit points, but we would uh, still kill all of them next turn. And they are disoriented, which means they move slower. So. 
I think there could be an argument made that that was the right call. There's the next pack. Lovely. Okay, first things first. We have to get here to deal damage and best case scenario not spot out too, mu uh, too much uh, of the rest of the map so that we prevent that this guy is teleporting to us, uh, away from us, sorry. Yeah, we're not melee attacking. It's 20% chance, that's not gonna fly. Oops, sorry. I mean, I would have an idea. It's a bit unorthodox. So far, so good. If we are now switching our position with the Archon. <laughs> that is so unbelievably cool. Don't want to use the Iconic Storm yet. So instead, let's hit this guy. And in order to make sure that he cannot teleport back, I really would like to get into some sort of Cover. Maybe we are covering ourselves here. That'll at least prevent uh, him from spawning back there. Okay, so lucky us. We draw. Uh, we draw the lucky number today. Uh, it is time for reload. Let's get these guys here first. And uh, we're going to focus on the avatar next. Good. This is not a kill, but it is close to a kill.
Perfect. Perfect. All right, Reaper time. We're back to three uh, focus again. Most everyone here is dead. It's pretty much how it should be. Okay, and I think we're just moving up here because uh, there's a likelihood of a spawn right up here. We cannot hit anyone with our Null Lands, so we're just overwatching. And we're overwatching here. The only one in somewhat grave danger is um, the Ghost, and that's okay. Oh, somehow they are not having their um, somehow they are not having their lightning reflexes, which is interesting. Kidding me? <laughs> okay, luckily uh, our panic ends right after the turn. And look at that. We, oh, nice chrysalis. What a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. All right. Cool, so let's move up here. Very nice. Run and gun so that we can reload. That's a solid chance to actually kill this guy. Probably should have used the melee attack. OK. 
Okay, so he's going to tank for us. The commander probably needs a little bit support. Let's move over here and hit both of uh, the Andromedons with a nice little Null Lens. Yep, there we go. One of them is right next to our Ghost, meaning that he's going to get killed next turn. Eh, maybe not killed. He has four armor, so that's still a lot. Anyhow, let's try to get the Spectres down. Of course, minimum damage. But we have hair trigger, luckily. Still got a backup plan, by the way, which I'm going to use now, because we can kill him with one shot which means we're going to hit and we're going to go advanced teamwork we're going to continue to hit Yeah, I don't want to Icarus jump over. I'll keep that for for the next pack. The commander should be okay for now. And in terms of this here, so if we were to hit. Yeah, even if we're not hitting, uh, even if we're not killing all three of them with one go. We still should, uh, we sh still should be fine due to Bladestorm. Yeah, we're just going to parry. Overwatch here, yeah, and I don't want to use anything on the Templar Ghost. Templar Ghost is just standing there tanking, basically. That's probably the last uh, Avatar coming. Yep. Nice. Thanks to Dodge, we haven't been crit. And thanks to Dodge, we're still uh, surviving there. Only 5 damage. Uh, that is really, really good. Only 4 damage. Like, that would be 9 and... 9 and 10, probably. So even the Templar Ghost is incredibly tanky. Oh, Codices, interesting. Well, good for us that we do have Guardian. So that's two down. Nice little Guardian prox.
Okay, a couple of blazing pinions just to tank them. Got to be careful with our action economy here. We want to hit the enemy avatar. Let's see. Up here, we would see it. and at least force it to move. Nice little hit, by the way, critical strike. Again, got to be careful here. We want the full weapon. So let's reload. Can easily kill the codex. It's not a problem. Thanks to the Icarus armor. We're now using our last um, charge in order to take a better position. Time for some solid cleanup here, by the way. Let's rupture him and crit him. Nice. And this is it. Thanks to the rupture, Hawkbite will finish this campaign with a slash, killing the last of the Avatar. And whilst the credits are rolling, I will take the moment to cherish and celebrate victory. I'm really, really happy on uh, how the overall campaign turned out. Uh, if you have had the chance to watch most of it, or even all, thank you so much for the support and thank you for being with me on this awesome ride. Um, it almost uh, it feels like a really collaborative victory, although it was me talking uh, to a uh, microphone the entire time. Uh, I certainly did not know that it's going to uh, play out so, so well uh, when we were starting it. Uh, this is the fourth try, like I said. Uh, the first one that I uh, ser uh, a little bit more seriously recorded. And lucky enough, uh, really everything came together. I think the tactic was solid uh, at the end. The game was, uh, again, easy, uh, but uh, specific hurdles uh, during the run were quite difficult. It was probably the most challenging experience that I had with XCOM 2, showing that uh, really a lot is possible within uh, this game. Um, and yeah, at the end, I guess uh, it, it I had to show uh, that if you're playing your cards right, you don't need that many act uh, actions. Uh, you can effectively use a couple of really, really strong characters, and if you are uh, uh, using them well and know when to use the cooldowns, then you can press on and achieve victory. So this was uh, the legendary Iron Man uh, run with only two soldiers per mission. Um, honorable mentions to everyone uh, uh, that participated in terms of soldiers, but also honorable mentions to 
the many, many nice comments that I've gotten um, in the uh, comment section down below. I would be uh, very happy if you do one out of the following things. Number one, um, just leave your opinion about uh, the campaign and the run uh, below. It means a lot to me to uh, to see just uh, the uh, the reaction um, of everyone. Uh, what went different than uh, what you would have expected? What uh, went well? What was your favorite character? Um, was there an overpowered ability? Really. Uh, you can uh, leave any sort of comment, uh, share your thoughts with me um, and uh, fill up the comment section. Secondly, um, uh, you might want to consider um, really hitting the thumbs up. Uh, I think it was, uh, I, I would have deserved like at least a thumbs up on the last campaign, um, on the last mission. Um, so overall, these, uh, these two uh, things uh, for this video. Number three, uh, I will probably uh, make a bit of a channel announcement over the next couple of days, uh, to uh, which which will include questions uh, as of what you would want to see. If you already have an idea of um, either a strategy game or um, some sort of an interesting play, then feel free to leave that also in the comment section down below. Uh, so I can read through it and already include it in my uh, thought process. With that, uh, we are going to take a small break from XCOM 2. It was such a long ride, 90 missions, and uh, despite feeling super, super happy, I also feel just a tiny bit exhausted from the um, long, long um, playthrough. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. So stay cool and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.